When you look over an ant colony, and especially if you look up close, it looks extremely messy. It doesn't seem to be a, a particular organization to this system. However, if you take a step back, you're going to see trails that are all coming from one origin that branches out and they seem to be branching out at particular points. Uh, you're going to see that the traffic, if you look at the traffic from far, is not actually completely random. It follows particular paths. You're going to see an actually very well organized super organism. This is Professor Simon Garnier of the New Jersey Institute of Technology, and his research into ants and slime mold has given him a unique perspective of our own collective behaviors. Every time I'm in traffic, it's like occasion for me to observe the behavior of the other people and try to understand why um, we are <laughs> so bad at organizing our traffic when ants, for instance, are so efficient at it. The work we do is all about how a large-scale organization emerges from the actions of a lot of different individuals. For example, take a swarm of South American army ants. Most ant species are going to either dig into the ground uh, to establish a, a network of uh, chambers, uh, but the army ants don't do this. They keep moving all the time their colonies. And they're capable of doing this with very tiny brains. There's no um, boss in the colony. There's nobody telling them, well, it's time to do this or it's time to do that. Decisions are communal and often made through the use of pheromones, molecular dollops secreted by each ant as they move along. That's their main uh, mechanism of communication and main mechanism of orientation inside the rainforest. They are practically blind. And just by using pheromones and touch, army ants can solve a myriad of dilemmas. If, if you look at the, the ground floor and the rainforest, it's extremely messy. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of gaps. So these army ants have this very particular behavioral adaptation to create structures, ladders, and bridges to expedite their traffic. After all, why go around a gap when you can build a bridge over it? So what we do is we build setups that we can place very quickly on top of a trail to force the ants to walk on top of our setup, and then we can record what they're doing in, in, with three different cameras. To figure out what triggers the creation of these living structures. What we suspect is when an ant arrives in front of a gap, uh, it has to slow down naturally. And because it's slowed down, the ants behind them are piling up and actually starting walk, uh, walking over the ants that are slowed down. And it seems that the signal when someone is stepping on your back is a signal for the ants to stop moving. Repeat that signal over and over in front of a traffic jam, and you get the beginnings of a bridge. One even able to adjust itself to shorten the overall path. And they're capable of doing this with very tiny brains. But maybe this doesn't impress you. We big brain creatures work together to make bridges all the time. We use apps to tell us the shortest route. So then how about a creature with no brain at all? So slime mold is this unicellular organism that's actually a collection of nuclei inside. So it's like the cells of your body had all fused together to form this sort of gelatinous blob. A blob capable of solving one of the most complex problems in sociology and economics, known as the multi-armed bandit problem. It's a reference to uh, the armed bandit in the casino. And you might have 50 of these slot machines in front of you. And they don't always have the same reward rate. But you won't know which machines are better unless you spend hours pumping them full of quarters. And so there's going to be a point where we need to make a decision and stop because otherwise we will just drain all our resources. And so that's the multi arm bandit problem. You don't have to go to the casino to experience this problem. You experience it all the time. If you want to buy a new laptop on Amazon, you don't have all the time in the world to focus on getting all the information and comparing all the information between all the options. It's the same thing in traffic. You have multiple options when you want to go from your work to your home. No, you can spend the entire year exploring all these routes one by one, but you don't have the time to just drive around the entire state of New Jersey. Hunting for the fastest way to get out, of course. You have to pick the best one based on the information that you have right now. So how does the slime wolf solve this problem? So when a part of the slime wolf happens to move over a food source, uh, this is going to trigger a set of signals inside the cell. It's going to start proceeding faster or with a higher amplitude locally. Uh, now, the neighboring parts of the slime mold are going to start also in turn proceeding faster. Pulling the cell body and the fluid away from the areas with less food. The side that is close to the 
higher quality food source, little by little it's going to basically withdraw all the material that is attached to um, the poor food source. When they tested this behavior in a lab using petri dish upon petri dish of slime molds, Dr. Gagne and his colleagues saw that the mold often chose the food rich side to spread to. In about 80 to 85 percent of the case, it finds uh, the best arm of the system. So it's a lot better than what human beings are capable of doing. And if a single-celled blob with no brain makes better decisions than we do, maybe its behaviors are worth replicating and studying in detail. The next step is to transform these um, behaviors into equations and, and computer uh, models. Where they can then be applied to robots, urban planning, or maybe even solving our traffic woes. Which is something that is actually very difficult to do experimentally by blocking an entire bridge for an entire day. Actually, you can create that sort of traffic jam but it's a pretty slimy thing to do. For Science Friday, I'm Luke Groskin.